Hi everyone, Mark Derlin here, and I want to talk about that pesky rough that we come back to every fall in Naples. We've just come out of our rainy season, so our growing season, and the course is in immaculate condition, and the, gra the grass is, the rough is very plush. Unfortunately, it makes it very difficult for us to get our ball out of sometimes. So I want to touch on that today. I have students that come to me often this time of year and they complain about getting out of the rough or I'll go in and have lunch in the clubhouse and I'll hear conversations where people are complaining about how difficult the rough is to get out of and I certainly agree but I want to give you a few tips or a few pointers that will help you to get the ball out of the, these uh, challenging lies and the lie specifically I want to talk about today is when the ball's sitting down or we call it a nested lie where the ball is surrounded by grass and I've kind of created that lie right here behind me. So I'm going to give you a few things that you can do to help you advance the ball from this position and hopefully advance it a little bit of distance. So the first thing that I always do is I want to default to more loft. So I had a shot the other day out of some heavy rough, not here but at another club, and the distance called for a seven, a seven iron for me. And I went to an eight iron because I didn't like the look of the lie. It was just the ball was really buried in the bottom of the, the grass. So I took the eight iron and I figured if I can get it in the fairway somewhere in front of the green, that would be a good spot for me to get it up and down from there. So I didn't try and be the hero. And I think that's where a lot of us get in trouble. What I ended up doing is I ended up hitting the eight iron. I caught a little bit of a flyer where the, the grass got between the ball and the club face and the ball actually ended up getting to the green for me. So I was fortunate. I ended up hitting the ball further than I usually do with that club uh, because of the flyer lie. It's not always gonna happen for us, but it, it was a nice result that day. So definitely default to more loft. And sometimes when you get that really, really poor lie, the grass is really heavy. Uh, you can barely see the ball go ahead and default to your sand wedge and just play a pitch out. Through the course of eight, 18 holes, you're gonna have opportunities to make up that stroke. So we don't have to try and save the stroke right there. The worst thing I, we can do, and I see it all the time, is people will grab their hybrid or their fairway wood from a lie like I've created here, and the percentages of us, the percentages of us hitting a good shot from, with that, those clubs are, are very, very low. So definitely default to more loft. If it's really nasty, go right to your sand wedge, play a pitch out. So how about from a technique standpoint? What do I like to see? Well, if you're somebody who typically swings the club around your body, what I want to see here is the club get a little bit more upright. So we can hit down into the ground, get the club face on the ball, get the loft of the club on the ball so the ball will come up out of the, out of the uh, rough for us. And I think a good analogy, and I use it often when I'm teaching, is instead of your swing being more of a merry-go-round, we want it to feel more like a Ferris wheel. So maybe hinge the club up a little bit more directly and then hit down into the ground a little more aggressively than we would for a normal shot. So I think taking a little bit more loft, a little steeper swing will help us extract that ball from that nasty lie that we have there. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions or I can help you any further, you can reach me at mark at derlingolf.com or on Twitter at derlingolf. Thanks for watching.